we're gonna start by priming the eyes. Um, so we're gonna use shape tape for that. I've never used this, so I'm excited to try it. Oh my God, the wand is so big. This is massive. It's like perfect for under, like you just use it underneath yeah. the circles and highlight. Totally. Question, how can you use, okay, because I've seen this before, mm -hmm. but you're using concealer instead of like the MAC uh, paint pot. Mm -hmm. How, why is that? Like, why are you trying to do that? Um, so concealer, the paint pot has like more of a matte consistency. Um, a concealer, it will kind of do the same thing. We're just basically like editing out any texture and discoloration of your eyes um, and giving the eyeshadow a bit of a sticky base to okay. adhere to. Is it better to use like a primer? Um, it's better to use something. Like okay. you should definitely be using something. Like I like the P. Louise primer. I do really just like a concealer too. Um, the MAC Paint Pots are good. I just find them a bit drying. And oh, especially this time of the year, like everyone has dry eyelids, so. I just like see all the beauty gurus who are like, Mac Paint Pot, and I'm like, oh my God, I have to go buy it right now. Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily that you need the Mac Paint Pot. Okay, cool. Like a concealer will do just fine. Oh, that's so nice to know. Yeah. Cause I feel like we're all buying a ton of products so we don't even know oh, what totally. to use or what to do. Absolutely, as long as you're just making sure it's just a nice thin layer. So I just put it on and then I just kind of pat it. Okay, cool. Pat it down. Now when you prime the skin, you put on lotion. Did you put on a face primer as well? No, not yet. Right now we're just gonna let that moisturizer seep into the skin. Okay. And then we're gonna do a primer right before application of foundation. Oh, okay. So, well, cause we're gonna do your eyes first. Okay. So we are primed. So now we're gonna go into this Pro Remix palette. I'm so excited to try this. This looks so good. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow. So so just we're gonna do two different eyes, but we're gonna do the same kind of oh, kind of cool. thing. So I've just been really yeah. liking like two different color eyes, yeah. and I think it just looks so cool and so trendy right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with a transition shade, um, and that just means we're like creating a shadow. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so we, we always want a transition shade to be a matte color. Okay. A bit of a shadow here. Okay, so you don't start by putting on the whole lid, just the crease? Yeah, we're just gonna start building up the crease. Oh. Um, any transition shade, it's... Any transition shade is basically, um, like you're just trying to create a shadow. You're making your eye bigger. Oh. So. You don't want to put shimmers up into your crease, typically. That's just not going to be, I mean, unless you're doing like cool editorial shit, but like this, like you kind of want to be, um, it's the most flattering. We're just going to start building up some um, color. So I think we're just going to go into, I think we'll start with this guy. The Art Deco? Yeah, so we're going to go here. Oh, that's so And then pretty. we're going to kind of transition into the dark. Because these are pretty much all shimmer shades, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna start with this guy and just like a flat, like a little flat brush. And I'm just gonna press this on so I have quite a bit. And because we didn't set your lid, yeah. it's still gonna be a little tacky, so it should really it, like, take to the product well. So I'm just gonna start packing this on. Okay, cool. Now, okay, I know a lot of people are scared of like blue shadows, but they're super in mm -hmm. blue eye. It's so, yeah. it's stunning. So basically what we want to do is the first like three quarters of the eye mm -hmm. is going to be in this color and then yeah. the last outer corner is going to be in the dark blue and then we're going to deepen that up with the black. Oh, okay, okay. cool. So it's going to like have like an ombre. I'm like, I'm so excited to see this. <laughs> well, and the other thing is like eyeshadow always looks like shit until like you get your liner on, you get your lashes on. Like I feel like people get really scared about the way it looks now. Yeah. Like right now it doesn't look good. Like right okay. now it looks like shit. But like once we start building up the color and um, like can um, the saturation. Yeah. Um, it will start to look good. So. I know. I find like even when I do eyeliner, sometimes I'll do it too thick. Yeah. But if I had a lash, it would look amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Like exactly. lashes actually change everything. everything. Change everything. So I'm just going to blend out 
top of that. What color did you with use just, to blend it? With just that brown. Okay. From before. And what kind of brush are you using for blending? It's a blending brush, like a 217 blending brush from MAC. Oh, so they're legit. Like if I walked in, I was like, I would like a blending brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I have a blending brush. So I'm gonna go into black and start deepening it up. Okay. A little bit of black, a little bit of blue still. And start taking it along the lash line here. I'm like trying to consciously feel where you're putting it on for like memory for later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that purple look you did on me. Yeah, that was pretty. It's like literally one of my favorite looks. Like yeah. I held on to those photos and I show people all the time. <laughs> I'm like, look at this eye. Look how talented yeah. she is. Oh, damn girl, she fears. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually so cool. Isn't it cool? I would wear this out. I know, me too. Wow. And a little shimmer, some depth, the wing. Oh my god. Yeah. It's cooler than you think. Like, it's like, it's really I trendy, love right? I love this. It's really, really trendy. Should we do a close up with the camera? Use this guy. Okay, cool. That is the one to I actually contour. use in real life. Yeah. This is not real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, so, so I'm gonna use a little small brush for contouring. Actually, like how small? Really? Mm -hmm. Now mine that I use kind of like comes up with a tip. Is there? Is it better? Well, like to could, one? I think you could use bronzer for that brush. Okay. For contour, we're going in a really small area. Okay. So with contour, we're just taking it from your um, ear to your like the end of your eye. And that's really it. And it's just like a small line. We're just like creating a bit of a shadow. So the difference between bronzer, the difference between bronzer and contour is yeah. bronzer is supposed to look like the sun and contour is supposed to look like a shadow. So we're just creating okay. a little matte, little line, and then we're gonna deepen it up with some, um, or bronze it up, like warm it up with some bronzer afterwards. Now, is there a reason you're going back and forth like that instead of like like I usually go down and up? Well, it's just because I'm so I'm bl I'm blurring the top of the line. I'm blurring. I'm just like oh dear, it's the 2019 word. I'm just blending out the top of it, so I'm kind of creating a harsh line and then yeah. softening up the top. Okay, cool. So that it's not like like literally a line. Like <laughs> me every day. I literally don't suck. trust. That's I mean right now I probably have that, but I like that look on I me. I like that look though. Like, I think you do, like, one of the most snatched faces I've ever seen. Thank you. You're welcome. Like, I, like, I tried to emulate your contour, and it did not look like how you do it. I was, like, trying to, like, go around the cheekbones mm. and, like, get that. So, like, how does she get those cheekbones like that? So now we're going to just go into the warmer color. So I'm going to okay. go take a mixture of these two. And actually, maybe even the last one there. Okay. That's pretty. Um, so bronzer can be, have a little bit of um, shimmer to it. Okay. It's just supposed to look like the sun, so that's okay, but for contour you want to keep that matte because we're trying to create a shadow. Okay. And a shadow would never be shimmering, right? Okay, yeah. So for this we're going to start it up and then just kind of blend down. And this is when you use your big fluffy brush. Okay. And honestly, you don't even need to contour. Like if you're using a bronzer to contour, that's totally okay. Okay. Like if you're just using one, like you don't need to, like today I don't even, I didn't even do a contour, I just did bronzer all over. Okay. Um, when I was contouring, I was sucking in my cheeks and bringing it all the way down to my mouth. Well, that's okay, you can do that too. Sometimes, it depends on the, like on the occasion too, right? Like if I'm going to the bar, my contour yeah. is like black. Okay. Right, but if I'm like going out in the sun, like a black contour, you're like, this crazy bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't really, 
you need to have like be a little bit more, a little softer. Mm -hmm. on the nose, so this is going anywhere you would get a sun, like a sun kiss from. Just gonna take it in the neck a bit. Then we want to blush. Uh, I don't think we have a tart blush, do we? I might just use, you know what, I'm gonna use this for blush. This oh, color. really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that's my blush face. I was like, why is that your blush face? I'm like, that's so severe and weird. Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> constipated. Your face is shark. like, what are you doing? The shark concealer. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do a highlight and I think I'm just gonna use this guy. Okay, cool. Because I think that'll look pretty in a highlight. Nice. Yeah. So this is gonna be probably a bit more intense than I'm just gonna brush you use. Know, yeah, so it really a is a teeny brush. little brush. Yeah, I like a small brush for a highlight, but. And you don't put on the finishing spray and then that? I don't know. I like to put a first layer of this. Okay. And then if I feel like I need a little bit more intensity, I'll do yeah. that. Okay. Because there's just so much. I don't know if it's conflicting information, but there's just so much information on makeup out there that mm -hmm. I feel like lost about what to actually do. Right. Well, I think that things, like I don't think there's a wrong way. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's wrong that people are like, you should never do this, you should never do that. Because I think there's so many different ways of doing makeup that work for everybody, right? Like I see some, some people do makeup and I'm like, that would never work for me, you know what I mean? But yeah. it works for them, so why, why make them feel like shit about it? That's fair. Right? Like, or why shame them for it when, you know, it's just everyone's just trying to do their own thing. Okay. Skin on fleek. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see Okay, this. so now we're gonna do your under eyes. Um, so we're just gonna go back into the same palette and basically just the same colors and just kind of smoke out your under eye a bit. What's your opinion on that? Does the look look not finished if you don't smoke out the under eye? I don't think so. Okay. I, a lot of the time I won't do anything under my under eye. Okay. Um, I like to just have a heavy over eye. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I feel like if it's gonna be a long day especially, I'll get like really smudgy yeah. underneath and I'm like, I'm not here for that. So, okay, cool. Um, so I'm just gonna take the same brushes and basically the same colors and yep. just kind of okay. um, smoke it out. So I'm just gonna create just a tad of, it's not like really dramatic, but it's just enough to have, look complete, you know? The finished look. Oh, I'm staring up at his two elephants. <laughs> but it's yeah. like, what are you doing? Aww. You just love each other? You just love each other so much. I love these eyes so much. Yeah. I know people are kind of like would be. Yeah. Cover that up. So you're just kind of like dabbing it. Yeah. You're not just like stroking it. I'm kind of just pressing in. Oh. Like pr pressing it into the skin. Yeah. And down. Like you don't want to take it up because all your face hairs um, like lie flat. And if you go like this, they're all going to like stand straight up. So you kind of just want to go down with like the natural hairs of your face. I've been doing all this wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I've been just like taking a huge brush, putting a ton of foundation on it, and just sweeping it across my face. Hey, it's but working, then it looks so. streaky. Well, and then I spend a ton of time with powder trying to fix it. Yeah. Oh my god. Powder's not the way. Um, <laughs> I've been telling everyone on Instagram, like, <laughs> just use the powder. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, Kayla, how do you get such perfect skin? No, actually. And I'm like, okay, I'm actually a beauty yeah, guru. Let me tell you. Okay, so look up. So this is the um, concealer, Shape Take Concealer. I heard you can't get this in Canada. Yeah, you can't. That's bullshit. This is why I've never used it. Imagine I go to the States and I'm just like, yeah. like I don't, I don't think you'd be the only one. I think people are like obsessed with this. I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's nice, obviously, but I really like the. Uh, excuse me, the Mac Studio Fix has a new, um, a new. Uh, concealer really and it's 
this form, smaller brush, okay. and really nice coverage. I've heard this one can be a bit cakey, yep. so uh, this deck. we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Damn it, this is the problem. I'm hanging out with you and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, this is what I need to add to yeah, my cart. Right? I'm like, all my brushes are wrong. Yeah. So this is probably gonna dry quick, so I'm just gonna try and blend it out as quickly as possible. Is there a specific way to blend it? Again, down. Yeah, I've been doing the opposite. I've been literally blending up. Mm. Okay. Well, you can do that too. Do you shave your face? No. Are you into that term at all? Mm, I don't. Cool, do you? I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel a need to. I mean, I get my mustache waxed, so. I shave my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. I did that in grade seven. And right? I did my eyebrows too. And my mom was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I shaved my eyebrows just with like a razor like this. And yeah. And like, here. It was literally like so embarrassing. My mom was like, you're never doing that again. We're going to get your eyebrows waxed. So like, bless my mom. In grade six, seven, she took me to go get my mustache and my brows waxed. Cause, oh my goodness. Cause that's not a thing anymore. All the way up again. But yeah, it's, uh, I, yeah, I just waxed my mustache. Make sure pluck the odd hair, but I don't. I think I missed a spot. Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't see it on okay. camera. No, totally not. And I didn't notice. Okay, cool, so. cool. Okay, so now, um, yeah, that's a bit light for you. A little patchy, maybe. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna kind of try and blend that out a bit. I was convinced the lighter the better because it gave you a highlight. Is that like? I would say the lighter the better. I would definitely say you want a, a, a shade a bit lighter than your foundation, um, but I wouldn't say the lighter the better, because sometimes it will make you look off. Really? Um, if it's too light, so. Sorry, throughout this whole conversation, I keep having moments where I'm like. So I've actually told somebody that before. <laughs> I'm just like, oh shit. Um, okay, so when I'm looking then for um, a concealer, mm -hmm. like how do you determine what's your perfect shade for concealer? So basically you just want to take it like two shades lighter than your okay than your foundation. Um, so we're gonna go in with this Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Um, it's brand new. So oh shit, I lost powder puff. I didn't even. I thought that was um, like real powder, not like setting powder. I don't know what you mean by real powder. <laughs> My beauty language is expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like um, real powder. Colored is. powder, like for, like foundation powder, like yeah. Um, I'm not really, this doesn't really look translucent. It looks like it has a color to it. It might be, is it translucent? Is it only one shade? Oh yeah, it looks like it is only one shade, so. But it has this little like, yeah, cushion inside. That's kind of cool. Okay. So we're gonna set your under eyes with this. Hopefully it's not too. That makes it easier than the Laura Mercier. You don't have to like double mm -hmm. the whole ton out. So you just gotta make sure you're getting rid of all the creases before you okay. set. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, can you explain baking to me? Cause I like attempt to bake, but I actually don't know what okay. I'm baking. Um, yeah, baking is just, basically what you're doing is just setting your makeup. Um, I find it's a huge waste of product and unless you're a drag queen or a cook, I wouldn't bake. Okay, cool. Um, it just makes your, it makes everything look really heavy. The only time that I actually do do it is I put it under my eyes. This is actually really pretty powder. Okay. Um, I put it under my eyes if I'm like putting a little bit more dark shadow or something adding on top. So I don't, if I get followed, I can just dust it away. Oh. Because right now if I get followed, it's gonna like make a mark all over the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'm just gonna kind of press this into the skin everywhere. This is actually really pretty. Okay. It's like really blurring, which I'm into. Really? Yeah. I think blurry, is that the word in 2019 in makeup? I don't know, but I'm into it. If it is. I know, it literally, I saw last night in the hair dye, it's just like. I'm just gonna do a bit more. You can see this over here. Just to try and darken it up a smidge. I'll just have to like pose on the other side of my face. All my photos are from the right side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not going anyway. That's okay, we'll just... I can fix that. I can't fix it on this camera, guys. If you see that, I had my hair dyed last night. It yeah. is not Cassidy's fault. It's not good. But I can fix that in Photoshop. Okay. 
Okay, so now we'll do some contour. Um, so we're gonna use the Park Avenue Princess. Oh, Park Avenue Princess. I was Hi. Gonna, what was I gonna say? Like pink. It looks like pink AF. Like pink. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to get. Someone's about to make a T-shirt right now. Yeah. With this guy. Oh really? You could line with liquid? Yeah. So I think we'll line with the the darker one. Okay, cool. And then we're just gonna. It dry. It dried a lot. Like look how yeah, the difference between wet and dry, right? It's huge, huge. So I think we'll just gonna use a lip brush. So I like a bit of a dark. lighter inside color, I just find that it's a nice pumping effect, pumping effect, I guess. Yeah, pumping effect. <laughs> Can't help yourself. I'm trying so hard to say so. So like when I got my nails done, she's like, stop fucking away. <laughs> it's hard to take myself seriously. I know, I'm gonna come over here a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so pretty when you go to the side like that, like out the window. Tart today with the powder room. You can follow her at the powder room. Yeah. Three O's in room. On Instagram. Yeah. She is amazing. You should see the special effects makeup she does. This is truly incredible. We're gonna be shooting some content right now, little little photos for Instagram. And I hope you enjoyed it. There's gonna be a lot more to come. So like, subscribe, hit that bell, and we will see you again. Bye!